It's Sunny and Finn's Games and Grabs podcast. Now sponsored by Gamerborn Clothing and the Fatal Grips. Go to gamerborn.co.uk or fatalgrips.com and use the code DDGAMING for 10% off your next order. What's happening, everybody? Welcome to episode 72 of the Games and Grabs podcast. I'm Sunny, and with me, as always, is Finn Steele. Hello! Finn, how are you doing? I'm okay, thank you. How are you? I'm good. I'm happy that we're back to bring entertainment and laughter to Yay. a world that, at the minute, very much needs it. Yes, we're back, bitches. Of course. And <laughs> if you are listening to this uh, across the pond, we share our deepest sympathies to those affected in the senseless attack on the residents of Las Vegas this past week. Yes. Be nicer to each other, world. Yes, don't shoot people, please. Thanks. No. Everybody love everybody. Yes, absolutely. Yes, definitely do that. Um, okay, so we've had a couple of weeks off, and a fair bit has happened in those couple of weeks. Just a tab. Uh, we missed our No Mercy Reactions podcast. Uh, we did. Sorry about that. So what we're going to do, <laughs> before we sort of start the show as we usually do with our gaming stuff, we're just going to mm-hmm. run through the results of uh, No Mercy just for the sake of our predictions more than anything else. So, yes. Finn, so we, yes, let's sorry. do No Mercy. Let's, let's indeed. So we did do our No Mercy stream over on Daydream Gaming we where we indeed. gave our predictions. Um, so for Miz and Jason Jordan, which is for the uh, uh, Intercontinental title, uh, both said that Miz would win it and we were both correct. Ding, ding, ding. one each. Hooray. Um, it was no Too soon match. for Jason Jordan. Too soon. It is, yes. A bit too soon. It was a good match. Um, I thought uh, Jason Jordan looked good. Um, there were some fine. Yeah, I thought there were some Jason Jordan sucks chance, which, of course, of course, going to be out in there. We'll see with the smarky smarks. Yeah, Later I think things. people have been <laughs> too harsh on him, in, in all honesty. Yeah, I me think, too. Um, he, you know, people loved American Alpha, and people loved Chad Gable. I, I think it's because WWE doing this... Roman Reigns thing all over again but with Jason Jordan oh uh, yeah pretty much they they see a superstar he's very much a Vince McMahon looking superstar oh yeah chiseled tall good looking lad you know he's got all the tools absolutely and, you know he's actually a really good wrestler as well he is but because he's been like forced onto us to a degree the smart yeah. marks are uh, <laughs> not taking too kindly to that. They they want to pick the champions, Vince, not you, mate. Vince yeah, been booking professional wrestling for longer than any of us have been alive. Four hundred years. You know nothing <laughs> in comparison to the smarks, all right? So no more Jason <laughs> Jordan, okay? Man, fuck that. Yeah. Okay, so uh, oh, it's, it's harsh towards Jason Jordan. Yeah, I love to think they're booing the storyline more than Jason Jordan because the old Kurt Angle being his dad thing is a bit. Tad ridiculous. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. But uh, oh, I like Jason Jordan as a wrestler. I think uh, me too, yeah. I, I like him too. I'm not sure they are booing the, the storyline. I think I think that maybe is a factor of it. But I think the fact that they're using it to elevate him so quickly um, has maybe gotten under people's skin a touch. Uh, perhaps, yeah. Uh, but yeah, it's a good match. Obviously, the Miz won via uh, Miz to Wild's interference. Mm-hmm. Um, and, yeah, it's good. Um, oh, I missed out. Um, uh, Apollo versus Eli on the pre-show. Sorry. Um, no, right, yeah, sorry. That, that was actually, <laughs> stand up was actually pretty all right. Um, I thought both guys ended up looking good. Both showed mm-hmm. up to offense. Um, I liked it. And Eli's obviously ended up winning because this the new guy pushing him up the guard. And uh, yeah, I thought they're right. And uh, for some reason, Apollo gets no love from WWE. <laughs> yeah, despite being this massive jack dude who can do all the flippy awesome stuff, he gets he gets nothing. No shrug. Who knows? <laughs> I do like Elias though. He's really grown on me. I love the, me the songs he does every week. It just really makes me laugh. It's it's just you know what? He's not even doing anything overly original. It's just typical heel work. Yeah, pretty much. It, it just works, and it's so funny. It's, and yes, uh, it's the best. I love it. <laughs> I hope he doesn't get lost on such a, a packed out roster. Oh uh, yeah, same here. Um, so then we had uh, Finn Balor versus Bray Wyatt. Mm-hmm. Uh, before the match, uh, Bray attacks. Um, Zack and his rib did like a Uanagi on the announce table. Mm-hmm. 
Uh, Finn was about to get escorted out of the arena, but then came back. Uh, uh, Bray starts out on top, uh, did a match, but Finn flies back, uh, hits a coup de, coup de grace on the back of, like, Bray's head, which looks crazy and awesome. Uh, but he kicks out of that. Uh, Finn goes for the 1916, gets punched in the face. Uh, but then Finn actually eventually ends up fighting back, hits the coup de grace, and wins. Uh, good match. Yeah, I'm a little bit surprised, I have to be honest. I thought, because this feud is still going on, in my opinion, Bray should have won, but I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I don't see the value in Bray losing all the time. It's um, a bit weird, yeah. I agree. I get that, you know, they've got a lot of stock in Finn and the whole demon character and all that sort of stuff, but... Demon. Wait. Demon. <laughs> but, you know... <laughs> but, you know... Bray was the WWE champion very, very recently, and now he just... I don't know. I, I, he loses a lot, doesn't he? He loses too much. I mean, yeah. I, I'm a big Finn guy, and, you know, look, if if this feud is going to carry on and Finn comes out of it winning at the end, and then he's going to go on to do something good, like go for the... try and get his universal title back, which won't happen, um, yeah. you know, then they're, they're fine. But... I, th- I feel like they should give Bray a little bit of something here. Uh, yeah, so the rumour is there's originally going to be a feud between Finn and Samoa Joe, but because Samoa Joe got injured, they've uh, like made this Bray feud go on a bit longer until Joe's able to come back, and then once Ooh. he's back, he's going to get back in a feud with Finn. Um, okay. Which would be good, I think. Yeah, uh, I, I, I still think you, you need to give Bray something here. Yeah. Uh, we did get something this week, which we'll talk about later, but, uh, mm. yeah. So, so far, as far as predictions go, um, you said Bray would win, I said Finn. Uh, so that's an extra point to me. So that's, uh, 3 2 to me. Yay. Yay. Uh, and we both had, uh, allies to win the first match, obviously. So that's an extra point. Of course. Um, so then we had, uh, Cesaro and Say, um, uh, Cesaro, Jesus Christ. Seamus and Cesaro versus, uh, <laughs> Dean, uh, Rose and Seth Rollins. Cesaro versus Anne Rollins. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> And uh, again, I did a good match, I thought. Yeah, um, I think so too. I mean, I think, um, you know, Cesaro and Sheamus have really grown on me. me I've been too. overly critical of them uh, as a team because they're not a real team, but they are <laughs> a real team now and it's just a thing. Yeah, so, um, yeah, they, I've, they've really grown on me and I like them. Good times. Yeah, really cool. Um, start of the match, uh, Cesaro like swings Dean into the start of the steps. It was cool. Yeah, yeah it was cool, yeah. And like, ref was checking him and he was okay. And he was like, yeah, I'm okay, I'm okay. And as soon as he got like, stood up, he got kicked in the face by, uh, by Zari. <laughs> it was very funny. Um, and during the match, uh, near the start of the match, uh, Zari got slingshotted into the ring post and like legit smashed his teeth in. Yeah. Poor guy. Ouch. That was hard to watch. <laughs> Tough dude though. I mean, Jesus. Oh, I yeah. mean, you know, if that would have happened to me, I'd have been, I'd have been bitching out. Oh yeah, like, I'd have been crying in the corner. <laughs> yeah, there is no two ways about it. I'd have been throwing the X up, everything. I'd have been. <laughs> yep, I'm, I'll quit, I'll quit. I'm done. I'm done. Yeah, let them let them keep the tag team tiles. I don't care. <laughs> I've, got no, I've got no teeth. <laughs> it yeah. doesn't matter. Oh man, tough guy. Uh, tough yeah, guy. Kept, because it's because it's awesome. It's carrying on like nothing. Um, it's called again like super kick when the blood's all all everywhere, all over his face. Yeah, like Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, still w- still taking damage. Yeah, I was doing the being WWE showed the replay like 27 times. Yeah, and getting, she smashed in. He's like, oh god, no, it's enough. It's like, it's like Enzo all over again, isn't it? When he when oh, they god. gave him a concussion and uh, they just showed it on repeat for about yeah. four weeks. I don't, yeah, I don't like that. <laughs> Here's the terrible <laughs> injury that happened to Enzo. Smack. It's like, oh, <laughs> oh. We've seen it. We don't need to see it again. Oh, <laughs> oh dear. Um, but yes, yeah, so ended. Uh, we had a white noise to Dean, uh, followed by a powerbomb to Seth from the top rope onto Dean, which looks crazy awesome. Yeah, uh, but it's all kicked out. Uh, Seamus goes for white noise, but like Dean collapses midway. Uh, walls up Seamus. Uh, Seth takes out Cesaro, knees Seamus into Dirty Deeds, and uh, Dean Ambrose and Seth Rollins win. They retain the titles. Yay. Fine. Really good match. Yeah, it was pretty good. I, I enjoyed it. Um, great back and forth. A lot of teams uh, have got really great chemistry in WWE at the minute. Mm. Um, I think Cesaro and Seamus are bringing the best out in a lot of people. Um, the Hardy Boys, uh, now Dean and Seth. So, you know, when they say they are the bar, you know, it's <laughs> it's very difficult to disagree. Yes, absolutely. They so, are the bar. Great work from them. I have no doubts that they will be tag team champions again once this new, I say new, in quotes, feud is, uh, is happening. So uh, we'll Ooh. talk about that a bit later on anyway. So, yeah. 
Uh, yes, so that was really cool. Uh, so we both had uh, Zethalons and Dynamos to retain, so we both get a point. Ding, ding. So that's 4-3 four, four, three. Three to you. It is indeed, yes. Uh, then we had the women's Fragile Five-Way. Yeah, Alexa Bliss versus Nia Jax versus Zaza Banks versus Bailey versus Emma. Um, I said Emma would win this because, I don't know, I'm an idiot. And you said uh, Nia would retain. Not Nia. Alexa would retain. And you were right. You did. Yay! Thumbs up. <laughs> Um, I just, I remember Emma because I thought there might be an outside chance. They might be trying to push Emma up the card a bit. I mean, it's that. also, it is also something we talked about a few, a couple of weeks prior as well. We were like, True. you know, I think it, it was actually me who suggested that she could win. Yeah. Um, I would have liked to see it. Uh, but you know, <laughs> it, it, we, we, at the end of the day, we're stupid for thinking that Emma is ever going to get that belt. I think she will eventually. I don't. I don't. I, no? I, I genuinely do not. I think it's going to be... Um, yeah, I just think it's going to be a titleless career for Emma. Yeah. Could be. Maybe she wins it. Paige will come back and win that championship before Emma gets anywhere near it. <laughs> oh, yeah. That'll definitely happen. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, yeah. So, you get a point for that. Uh, so, it's 4-4 four, four altogether. Uh, it, was de- it was a decent match. It was fine. Nothing overly exactly. special. Anything. I was just about to say, the reason he's not said anything about the match is because it was a much of... Nothing, really. It's pretty much, yeah. Just throw it together, mass, throw everything into the same match, and yeah. 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 Everyone, everyone do your moves, everyone get your bits in, and come on, we've, we've, <laughs> we've, we've got, we've got, <laughs> 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 we, we've, we've got better matches to have. Come on, get out of the way. But yeah, it was, <laughs> it was fine enough, and Alexa wins, and yeah. Yeah, it's all good. All's right with the world. Uh, so we had the WrestleMania worthy, which they kept reminding us, uh, John Cena versus Roman Reigns. Two icons, by the way, if you didn't know. Yeah, two icons. Uh, yeah, uh, WrestleMania worthy icons. WrestleMania. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, it was good. It was good. I thought it was a little sloppy early on. Yeah, uh, I was sort of worried that the two didn't really have uh, the chemistry whilst going against each other. Uh, mic chemistry, perfect. In ring chemistry, not as good, but it was fine. Yeah, yeah, it was fine. When it was acting like little heelish, was I liked. Um, I think they both were kind of acting in their own sort of heelish way. I mean, Cena was the pieces. face here. Without oh, yeah, question, absolutely. Cena was the face. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, of course, they were Punk chance because, you know, wrestling. Because they can't let it go. They just cannot <laughs> let it go. They can't. Um, and yeah, it was really good. Uh, not much else to say about it other than they all did the big moves. Um, they like a super AA at one point, which Roman still kicked out of because Roman Reigns. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, because Roman Reigns, that's it. That's, that's the excuse now going forward. Yep. He's also, as Chris pointed out on uh, Discord, the highest rated character on uh, WWE 2K18. Oh, does he really? I've missed, I must have missed that earlier on. Does he really? <laughs> yeah. He is, yeah. More high than all legends. Just, I think like 98 or something ridiculous. Fuck's sake. I know. Got to make it look strong. Undertaker is usually the best on it. Yeah. Undertaker, Undertaker or Brock. Triple H and Cena. Yeah. And Brock. And Brock, yeah. Uh, but oh, no, Roman. Man. A lot of Roman wins. Great. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, yep, I just like life, just like WWE Joke 18, uh, Roman wins its match. And, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Superman yeah. punch out of nowhere, spear and win. Yeah, it was, it was okay. I mean, I, I enjoyed it for what it was. Uh, I'd, I would like to see it again. I think we will. I'd like to see it on the grandest stage of them all. I, I, I still, for the life of me, don't know why they've given it away now uh, at No Mercy, which, you know, for you know, yeah. for all intents and purposes, is a throwaway pay-per-view. It's a weird one, yeah. Did it, hmm. I don't know. I don't maybe, know. Maybe, it's sure. to, maybe it's to make people watch it. Maybe it's to get people to subscribe to the network if network numbers are falling or something like that. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. But, um, you know what? It was fine. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, so after the match, it looked like uh, Cena might be going away for a little while because he's like he'd like bow and said goodbye mm. and he's like thank you Cena chance, um, but then on like talk on talking smack the, um, the war one war talk raw talk yeah yeah um, he said he might not be as round as much but he's still going to be you know having matches and whatnot he's not retiring yet <laughs> yeah <laughs> I, think I, it's I do hate this fucking Cena thing that he does like when he has a big match and whether he wins or loses he like panders to the crowd afterwards it's like you remember when he beat Brock oh yeah. Uh, with an F5 to the stairs, by the way. Uh, an FU, sorry, Jesus Christ. An attitude <laughs> adjustment to the stairs. And oh, yeah. L- Lol Cena wins. <laughs> 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 I 
like just out of nowhere at yeah. Extreme Rules that time. And afterwards, he gave that speech to the crowd. And oh then God. Brock's backstage, like going ape shit and tearing it up <laughs> because of Cena, like pandering and whatever. Yeah. And then he's done it again. It's like Cena doesn't win, but really he wins because thank you, Cena, and all that sort of stuff. I yeah. could really do without it. I wish he'd have just rolled out the ring and fucked off because. <laughs> 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 it <would have> just... <laughs> It's bad time to take a sip of coffee. <laughs> <laughs> it would have just been, all right, fair enough. Seen us lost. Took it on the chin. Off you go. Uh, come, back, come back later. I don't know. But hey, it is what it is. Seen is going to be seen. Yeah. Seen is going to seen. Wait. Seen uh, anyway. is going to seen, 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 seen. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Seen it off. Uh, there we go. <laughs> uh, so yeah, the predictions, uh, I said Roman would win. Uh, so I get a point there. So it's uh, move to five, send it with four. Uh, and then we have um, Neville versus Enzo for the cruise rate uh, title. Enzo wins. Next. Yes. Um, he won by kicking him in the dick, which at first I hated, but now not, kind of not so much. We'll get to that. We'll, we'll get to it. I've got an opinion on it as well. But yeah. uh, uh, at the time, whew, I was ready yeah. to burn my flat down. <laughs> yeah. You saw my uh, uh, tweet on Twitter. Of my video, just been like <laughs> my reaction to it. This is like yeah. standing up and walking into head first into a closed door. <laughs> yeah, um, he has turned it around since. I will give it to him, and we will talk about that a bit later on. But oh yeah, at the time, I mean, we were one hundred percent against this. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Um, but we'll, yeah, we'll talk about that. Uh, so both, we both had Neville to win because neither of us saw Andrew win, so neither to get a point. Uh, we're stupid, basically. Uh, yeah, we're, we're bad at this. Uh, so we had um, <laughs> the main event, which of course was Brock Lesnar versus Braun Strowman. Braun. And yeah, it was it was good until the ending. I didn't like the ending. Uh, I, like I, I absolutely <laughs> detested the ending. I thought it was fine. It was a, you know, a, a standard big man match. Oh uh, yeah. Braun looked really, really good during most of the match. Um, basically destroyed Brock throughout most of it. Mm-hmm. Lots of power slams, lots of I think you went through into it like an L state at some point. Yep. Um, yeah, it looked great. Um, yeah, Brock did a bunch of suplexes as he does. Mm-hmm. Uh, goes with F5, but fails, eats a power slam, uh, but kicks out, hits another power slam, and kicks out. But then, Brock being typical Brock, just stands up, F5 out of nowhere, like it's nothing, and wins. Yeah. One now, five. the problem I've got with this is they've built Braun up so much during the build up of this match. For him just to lose to one F5. I know, just one. To get him to kick out one. You've just uh, had Cena and Reigns kick out their special moves about 18 times. (laughs) Yeah, seriously. And then Brock picks up the most unstoppable man on the entire roster for the last few weeks. In fact, the last few months. And then he loses to one F5. Yeah, it's done. Come on. I hate it. Come on. You know, if he'd if he'd have done it two or three times just to make sure, yeah, fine. I'd be fine. Like Not having stand, one. Yeah, they would they would the, like two players. Have him stand up after the first one. Be like, no, uh, and have him like have to fight back and hit a few more times, and then maybe have him win. But I don't yeah, know. if you if you have it's to us. have Brock win, fine. But uh, do it in a way that doesn't make Braun look completely piss weak. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Because one F five. I'm sorry, but everybody is kicked out of F fives recently. Yeah. That's, that's what that's what happens in wrestling these days. False finishes. You, yeah, you exactly. Out, Cena did an AA from the top fucking rope on Reigns <laughs> and he kicked out. He still kicks out, yeah. Oh, uh, stupid. Stupid wrestling. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so you had Brock to win this, so you get another points. So it ends yet again in a draw. Mm. Five each. <laughs> so Five both get each. a point. Both get a point. This means a grand total up to Sunday with 11 and me with nine. So I'm still lagging behind. You're only two behind, though. I mean, there is can, the score itself is ridiculous anyway this year already, but that shows <laughs> yeah. how many pay per views there are. Yeah, seriously. Uh, so we've still got a ton of pay per views to come before the end of the year. Very true. Um, yeah, so that's uh, so that's no mercy. It was what would you rate it out of uh, our usual rating system? C plus. C plus. Um, yeah, I'll probably go a bit. Mm, I don't know. Something really. It was like it was a mixture. There was some really good stuff, but also some real some real duds. Um, mm. Yeah, I'll probably go with like a solid B, middle of the road B. Okay, middle of the road, fine. sitting on the fence B. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay, fair it's enough. Right on the fence. 
Okay. <laughs> okay. Now, we're going to start the show as we always do. 20 yeah. minutes in. Finn. <laughs> Hello. What have you been playing this week? Um, Still rocking away at Destiny, unlike some people. <clears throat> um, <laughs> I don't know who he's talking about. Uh, well, you know, yes, yeah, some people who so maybe should be a little higher than they are. That's fine. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, but now I'm still, I'm, I'm kind of kidding. Uh, still looking at it. Still, still doing my weekly, uh, weekly milestones. Getting that gear, getting the light level up. Uh, I think my maximum right now is 302. Mm. Not, not a brag or anything. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's good. I like it a lot still. Mm-hmm. Uh, other than that, I've been playing a lot of, uh, Uncharted Lost Legacy. Ooh, how are you enjoying it? Uh, I love it. Beating it twice, in fact. <laughs> oh, okay, fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Beat it once on, like, normal, and then beat it again on, uh, crushing. Um, Ooh. once you beat it once, you unlock, like, like, it'll cheat, like, infinite ammo and stuff like that, so I'll just turn all of them on and blast them through it. My bad. Um. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. Sorry, not sorry. Um, but yeah, it's really good. I like it a lot. Uh, I've got a few trophies, trophies left to get the platinum, which I'll work on this week. And, uh, yeah, great game. Looks great on 4K, HDR and all that. Because we're spoiled. Yeah, we are a bit spoiled. Mm-hmm. And yeah, I love it. Excellent. Uh, and other than that, uh, a bit more percent of Vive, as I do every week. Still plugging away. S- still plugging away. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, I think that's about it, really. I've, I've bought, uh, Golf Story on Switch. Haven't got around playing it yet. Would like to do a stream oh, of it. Um, man, it looks so good. It looks so good. good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stream a full playthrough, I think, of it. Um, awesome. Probably start another tomorrow or Friday. <clears throat> so Thursday or Friday. Excellent. That sounds great. Because um, uh, yeah. the game looks really, really fantastic. And it's seemingly yes. come out of nowhere as well. <laughs> yes, yes, uh, But it looks great. Uh, I'm looking forward to playing it myself. I haven't picked it up yet, but I will do. Yeah. It's only, it's only like 12.99 or something. Yeah, it's really cheap, yeah. Yeah. That's classic 16-bit like RPG, but it's a golf game. It looks, it looks really good. Yeah, it looks cool. Um, and I think that's about it for this week. What are you been playing? Um, I mean, I'm at that point at the minute where FIFA is out. Oh, yeah. Okay, so Pez is out. Um, Forza is out. So I've been playing those basically. I should be nice. playing more Destiny. I have Asian. beat the game. I've beaten the story. I'm sort of two forty something light level. You get there. You get there. I do. I do hop on. I, I have an hour here and there and do some adventures or whatever and get some gear and you know carry on. Just trying to get my get myself raid ready so I can actually come and join you nerds every week <laughs> yeah. or every night is it? <laughs> yeah we, we always try and get the raid together but we always fail we, like, we always get like five out of six people it's like ah oh, we'll just do crucible screw it fair enough I mean I will get there and I'll, I'll come and join in uh, hopefully fairly soon as well yeah. but uh, yeah I've been playing FIFA it's good uh, it's not without its problems goalkeepers need fixing um, <laughs> defending is difficult and shooting seems way too easy to my mm. knowledge they are patching it and that's coming fairly soon. I think it's actually out on PC now, the patch. Interesting. It's like imagine... really obvious stuff to get wrong in a football game. Like the shooting doesn't work, the goal, goalkeepers don't work. It's like, surely, surely the best, the biggest football game comes out every year. So how, is, how does it not work? Probably. I know, I know. It's, it's crazy. <laughs> I, I, I really don't know how it happens. Weirdly enough, it seemed fine in the demo. Oh, right, interesting. And when the full games come out, it's not as great. So it needs tweaking and they are doing it. So, at least they're listening, I guess. Yeah. Other than that, it's great. It looks brilliant in 4K HDR. Uh, again, because we're spoiled. <laughs> yeah. But I'm enjoying it. It's fine. Um, I've been playing PES some more, trying to get back into it because it was my favourite football game last year. Ploughed so many hours into it. But when 2018 came out, I wasn't overly enamoured with it. But uh, oh, yeah. I've been playing it a bit more. Um, I've uh, started a brand new series over on Daydreamer of me playing as Valencia doing a Master League and I am actually very much enjoying it now. I'm sort of leaning back towards that as opposed to FIFA. So, uh, Pez is worming its way back into my life. Nice. And I want to talk about Forza. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Um, too much driving. This one, <laughs> too much driving. <laughs> yeah. That, that was Finn's expert critique of Forza Horizon 3. Yeah, very That much. came out last year. <laughs> when Xbox was so nice to us as well. And <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Sorry, Xbox. Um, but Forza 7 is really remarkable. Cool. It, it's just so good. It's, uh, I, I put this on Twitter last night, but it's one of, if not the best looking console game right now. Oh, yeah, I bet. Racing games always always seem to be like a step a step above, like every other game as far as, as, far as like graphics are concerned. Yeah, uh, I mean, yeah, I'm playing on an Xbox <laughs> One S, uh, so the the small white version of the Xbox One, and, uh, and uh, it does have HDR and it, it looks stunning. I can't 
imagine how much better it can possibly look on an Xbox One X. But nice. uh, yeah, it's it's great. Gameplay-wise, it's great. Looks phenomenal. They've slimmed down the career mode, which is a good thing in my opinion because it was just too much last time out on Forza oh, 6. Yeah. Uh, but they've 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 trimmed it down and it's better for it uh, and it's just it's very very good. Cool. So yeah. Uh, other than that, I've not really been playing much. I played some uh, Pokken or Pokken. I don't even know how you pronounce it. Um, a Pokken, I think it could be basically like Tekken to Pokken. Yeah, I guess. But mm. uh, the reason I thought it was Pokken because of Pokemon. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah. Hmm. It's, a, it, it's a conundrum. Who knows? But automated, uh, I've automated. Been, Exactly. Yeah, exactly. See, <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, I've been playing that on Switch, and it is wicked. It's it so really cool. Uh, the Switch yeah. is just full of superb games at the minute. Um, great console, and the library just keeps growing. I cannot wait for Super Mario Odyssey this month. Oh my god, I can't wait either. It's gonna be so good. <laughs> so good. But yeah. Oh, Maybe. and I've been playing Batman: Arkham Asylum because uh, I'm still working on my Xbox One playthrough of it. I still love it, and nice. it looks great, upscaled. Um, you know whatever the Xbox One S does. It looks great. So, yeah, awesome. Nice. Uh, I might get the pocket, actually. Maybe we can do like an online stream of it or something. Yeah, sounds good. That'd be cool. Yeah, sounds really good. We should do that, actually, because uh, uh, Mika's got uh, a Switch. So what we should do is oh, we yeah. should get a few of us together and play some Mario Karts online and maybe Ooh, stream yeah. that. That'd, That'd be, be awesome, cool. actually. So, yeah. yeah, yeah. Good idea. Cool. So, but that's it. That's pretty much what I've been playing. Awesome. Yeah. Good collection of games. Yeah, it's good. It's a good, good time for gaming. Oh, yeah. Great time. And speaking of good times for gaming, I don't suppose you would happen to know uh, <coughs> the games that are coming out this coming month, would you? Just so it happens, I have a list here. Oh. Ah. oh. You just made a list. Yes. Of games coming for October 2017. Excellent. We have. Seamless. Seamless. We did it. <laughs> we did it. <laughs> We're getting good at this podcasting stuff. It's only, yeah. yeah so it's been nearly two years. Yeah, and the 72 episodes in, we finally, we finally got it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, already out, came out on October 3rd, yesterday, as we're recording this, mm. uh, Forza Motorsport 7 on Xbox One and PC. Excellent, go buy it. Yep. And a game called Battle Chasers Night War, shrug, on PS4, <laughs> Xbox One and PC. Is it free? Is it one of them sort of games, or? Um, it looks like one of those free-to-play games, yeah. Let me say much. It's probably a massive insult. Like it's, <laughs> <laughs> it's probably, probably really good, and we're just like, well, it looks like it's a free to play game. <laughs> it looks like a piece of shit. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, speaking of free to play, we didn't mention that we played Fortnite Battle Royale. It's oh, excellent. Yeah, of course. That's really good. Yeah, that's fun. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. Um, oh god, stop this here. Uh, Battle Jason Night War is an RPG featuring deep dungeon diving, turn-based combat presented in a classic JRPG format, and tons of secret story and randomly generated blah blah blah. Uh, just definitely out- not free, then, is it? Uh, no, six out of ten on GameSpot, so me. <laughs> right, <yeah. laughs> should be free to play. It probably should, yeah. Um, we have got, uh, October 5th, this is tomorrow, uh, Stardew Valley coming out on Switch. Oh, nice. Okay. That's supposed to be pretty good. Denzel yeah. is, uh, is pretty high on that. I, I know he's got it on PS4, but, yeah, uh, I, would love to I about that. imagine he'll get it on the Switch because, uh, it's a perfect Switch type game, I think. Oh, yeah. It's definitely one you can play on the go. That'd be awesome. Yeah. Oh, excuse me. Um, also on the same date, we have A Hat in Time, uh, which is like a kickstarted game, uh, similar to like, uh, Ukulele, like an old school, uh, platformer, oh, okay. kind of thing. Uh, it's got some pretty decent reviews so far, I think. What's that coming out on? Um, I think pretty much everything, like PC, Xbox One, all that stuff. Mm, okay. Uh, yeah, I think yeah, Viz mentioned this earlier on in our Discord, didn't he? He did, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hmm, okay. We'll give that a try. Um, uh, also got a re-release of Dragon's Dogma Dark Arisen on PS4 and Xbox One. Okay. It's like an RPG similar to like Skyrim kind of thing. Sure. I'd just wait for Skyrim on Switch. Yeah, that's better. <laughs> on uh, 3DS, the day after, October 6th, we have Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga plus Bowser's Minions. What? Uh, yeah. It's basically a uh, remake of Mario, for the first Mario and Luigi game on Game Boy Advance, I think it was. Plus some other like add-on thing. Jesus. But, right, okay. <laughs> God, what a, some, that's some name. It is a bit. Um, but the, the original game is really good, so I'll probably pick it up at some point. Did you um, ever pick up Metroid, by the way? I haven't, but I would really like to. I've heard really good things. <clears throat> okay, fair enough. Um, yeah, I need to get back on my 3DS uh, gaming, because it's gathering dust at the minute. The Switch has ruined it. It has a bit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what else have we got? On October 10th, we've got Middle Earth Shadow of War. Oh, wow, that's soon. I didn't realise it was coming out that soon. Yeah, coming out quick. Uh, out of nowhere, you could say. 
Oh, <laughs> I see. Wrestling. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, it looks good. It looks like the first one, um, but prettier and more gooder. More sure. gooder. There you go. Yeah. More gooder. That's the official <laughs> Games and Graps podcast review or preview of Shadow of <laughs> War. Pretty yeah. and gooder. Yeah, exactly. There you go. A lot of people are very, very excited for this one. Lit, I know, is very excited for this one. We yeah. did a poll on Twitter, and uh, I didn't include that one in the choices. And oh, yeah. people were just tweeting me saying "Shadow of War," "Shadow of War." Like people oh, are right. super stoked for it. So uh, that's going to do very well. Yeah, cool. Uh, so let's play the first one. I own it. Never played it. <laughs> it's like, good. Like, you, like so many other things. You absolutely <laughs> should play it. It's very good. Yeah, I will. Uh, October thirteenth, Friday the thirteenth. Uh, we have ooh, we have the evil, e- evil, the evil within two, which okay. uh, looks awesome. Yeah, are you. Uh, I I wasn't overly into the first one. I've played it, and I thought for the time it came out, it should have looked better. Um, yeah, it was a bit of weirdness with it. It's a bit janky, but I did like it. Yeah, and they had that when it first came out. It had that weird border as well, like uh, the letterbox yeah, effect. Like but they they, yeah. they did they did patch it and took it out. But uh, eventually, yeah. Um, it. This one looks okay, uh, yeah. and I will probably play it. Me too. I think I'm going to buy this one. I might even stream it. Um, cool. Because, yeah, it, look, it looks super weird. I'm, I'm always into like, super weird stuff, like Evil Within. So, yeah, I'm down for, down for more of that. Faux show. Faux show. <laughs> Did you finish the first one, then? Uh, yeah, finished the first one. It was good. Okay. Decent. Yeah, I, mean, I enjoyed where the story was going. I just never got around to finishing it. It was quite difficult as well, actually, I think, if I remember rightly. Uh, yeah, I think it was. Yeah, I remember having trouble with it. Mm. Um, but yeah. Uh, up, um, October 17th, the week after, we have uh, Grand Turismo Sport on PS4. Mm. This is asking to uh, fall this a, Yeah, this is a big test. Mm. Uh, because, I mean, the, the Sony fanboys and the, you know, the Grand Turismo fanboys are obviously going to jump on this and um, rightly so. It's the first Grand Turismo title on the PS4? Uh, yeah, I think so. Which is amazing to me, considering how long the PS4 has been out now. <laughs> yes, yeah, seriously. Um, Polyphony are of such a strange dev, in my opinion. I mean, this series for me is a PlayStation staple. Oh yeah, and this should have come ages ago. Definitely. Um, I mean, you've had one, two, three. No, wait, hang on. Five Forza games on Xbox One. Jesus Christ! <laughs> All of which are phenomenal. Right now. Why you can't put one Gran Turismo game out that is at least on par with one of those Forza games in <laughs> all of this time is beyond me. Uh, yeah. It's if, it, if it's crap, this could be the end of Gran Turismo. Yeah, seriously. It needs to be good. It needs to be, yeah. It needs to be. Otherwise, Polyphony um, shouldn't make any more of these games because it's seemingly a waste of time. Yes. There is um, a demo coming next week. Hmm. That's so right, actually. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to try the demo as well. Yeah, I remember like really liking Grand Turismo three and PS two. Three was excellent. Three was the last, the last good one in my opinion, the last great one. Yeah, really good soundtrack. Great feeder soundtrack. And all that. Feeder, yeah, yeah. It's weird actually because I was playing Forza yesterday, and because uh, obviously you can, you know, put Spotify on whilst you're playing and whatnot. Oh, and yeah. uh, the first thing I went for was Feeder Best of the new Best of album they've just brought out. Oh, nice. Well, the Best of exactly. available, and it, just, it was just some weird coincidence that I went for that whilst playing. Forza, it's just maybe it's just like a an automatic driving <laughs> game type band. I don't know. Yeah, uh, this sounds nice. Yeah, it was music. pretty cool. But Gran Turismo Three, in my opinion, was the last great Gran Turismo. Yeah, same here. That's the last one I probably played. Um, so yeah, I'm, 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 I'm definitely try them for this one and uh, maybe pick it up. The first first proper racing game I picked up in a while. Yeah, I do. Uh, yeah, so on the same day we've got a game called Rogue Trooper Redux. Sure. Uh, I've heard of this. I think. Uh, let's have a look. What is it? I think it's got like a. I think the um, the picture is weird. It's like, I think he's like green or something. Um, oh I yeah, th- a green green dude. Oh, it is that one. Yeah, okay. I was thinking of the right one. Um, I've I think I've only heard of it because I've I was looking on the Xbox Store just the other day and it was there. All oh, right. Weird. Mm. Um, literally nothing about it on GameSpot. Just GameSpot. Awesome. <laughs> That's gonna be a real classic. <laughs> yeah, you know it. Uh. Speaking of good classics, something that will be a classic, probably, is uh, South Park, The Fractured, comma, But Whole, on the, <laughs> coming out on the same day. <laughs> yep, looks <laughs> awesome. I, I really, really cannot wait. I love the stick of truth, and I have no doubt in my mind that this is going to be equally as good, if not better. Oh, yeah. It looks so, so good. 
like like everyone else, I can't wait for it. It's going to be amazing. No Long doubt. time coming too. I mean, this this should have come out, I believe, this time last year. I pretty much yeah. So I think it's like holiday twenty seventeen. Yeah. Uh, 16, sorry. Yeah, I think we were talking about it on the podcast last year, and yes. it still isn't here. But yeah. it's coming now. It's, it's just gone gold. It's actually coming. Really? So, uh, good stuff. Excellent. Uh, on the same day, uh, a game we're going to be playing a lot of, WWE 2K18. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Yeah, it's finally coming. We're going to have it three days earlier, four days Oop. earlier, because of pre-order bullshit. Yay. <laughs> yeah. Um, it, it might be good this year. It looks good. <laughs> Um, it looks it's right. promising. Shrug. <laughs> it, no, in all seriousness, it, it it actually does look pretty cool. They've tweaked the lighting um, and the graphics engine. They've added a few new modes. Um, hmm. Yeah, I mean, you know, I'm looking forward to playing it. I always look forward to playing it, though. But doing what we do, we really <laughs> exhaust the game every year. <laughs> yeah, seriously. So like um, we, we stream when it first comes out. And then we stream every single pay per view, and there's one every two weeks, right? Yeah. So <laughs> by the time the 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 game is done, we're like we're ready for a new one. We're like, okay, fuck this game now, it sucks. Yeah, seriously. Um, the road, new Road to Glory mode looks interesting. It looks like very FIFA Foot esque Ultimate foot. Team, I think it is. Yeah, I don't yeah. know what else called <laughs> Ultimate Team. F- FIFA Ultimate Team, yeah. It's there you go. Foot for sure, yeah. I guess. Foot. Foot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm that on it. <laughs> it does. It does look interesting. Um, I'm not sure what games' obsessions with loot boxes are at the minute, yeah. but it, it seems to be the in thing in games. Even Forza Seven has loot boxes. I, I oh, wow. don't <laughs> see any point to them. Yeah, <laughs> so I've also did it, so we, I mean, I was doing it. Yeah, <laughs> but it look. It looks like a very interesting mode, and if the online works, I said this to you yesterday, didn't I? I texted you, and I was like, if online works, like the servers are good, and there's you know delay free matches then this could be a, a, a real winner for the WWE 2K franchise. Yeah, seriously. It looks looks really fun from what I've seen. Um, also, uh, the trophy list has been linked on PSN profiles mm-hmm. and it actually looks pretty doable this week, this year. There's no, okay. like, unlock all managers which cost, like, a bajillion points each. It's, it's so much grinding. It's like, nobody would get that. But uh, yeah. this year, it's all, it's all like, like, play, win it matches, the serves and character, uh, complete, like, the story mode or whatever it is uh, mode. Okay, that's good um, because yeah, the trophy list cool. in previous years is, quite frankly, bullshit. Yeah, there was always at least at least one or two garbage trophies in there. Yeah, but this um, year you say it looks fairly promising. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, my career complete the main story. Uh, reach level ten on career, uh, win hundred matches and road to glory. Yeah, cool. Yeah, well, I'm looking forward to playing it. I really am. It's next another... week as well for us. So yeah, good times. Yeah, awesome. Can't wait. And there's also yet another uh, Snickers uh, Hunger to Win Hunger uh, Trophy. Sure. Sponsored uh, by Snickers. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, on one of them, it was like Red Box Big Moment or something like that. And then oh, obviously God, they, yeah. they've transferred over to Snickers now. Next year will be the uh, KFC <laughs> Lay Some Eggs Trophies or something. I don't know. Oh, did you say that? I just noticed there's a KFC one. <laughs> oh, is this seriously? <laughs> yeah. <I'd, laughs> Just, 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 just the KFC logo. The show is called Made the Hard Way. Well, it might be a KFC oh, thing, I don't know. God almighty. It's all performing three major reversals in a single match. Because mm. sponsors, that's why. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, without nice. these, like, without these sponsors, the game wouldn't get made or something. Fuck off. <laughs> yeah, seriously. <laughs> God's sake. So dumb. Oh, God's <laughs> sake. I th- FYI, guys, I didn't know there was a KFC trophy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I just need to notice it myself. That's hilarious. Oh, uh, my God. Yeah, wait, wait, anyway, uh, video games. <laughs> <laughs> on the Swiss, on October 20th, we have, uh, Fire Emblem Warriors, which is like a Dynasty Warriors game with Fire Emblem characters. Jesus. Yeah. Oh, oh, God, so many of these so, games. <laughs> so many Dynasty Warriors games. Yeah, seriously. <sighs> sure. Hey, the popular. The most yeah, they popular, are popular yeah. we get, keep getting made. Well, yeah, that's um, it. Somebody must be playing them because there's literally 833 of these games. Yeah, I mean, I like Dynasty Warriors. I haven't played them in a while. Um, Dynasty Warriors, Dynasty Warriors 8 looks pretty good. Sounds pretty good. Um, it's supposed to be like open world or something. Don't let the, don't let the number 8 fool you either. Oh no, no, it's the, like the 800th. Yeah. Yeah. Game. yeah. So it's not Dynasty Warriors 8. It's Dynasty Warriors 888. It's, yes, yes. Uh, so. <laughs> stick, stick a few more 8s in there. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh yeah. So on October 24th, we have Destiny 2 coming to PC. For you PC nerds out there. 
Yeah, for you nerds who, uh, you know, <laughs> console master race, we get it first. You nerds have to wait. Oh, <laughs> uh, dear. <laughs> They'll still be at light level raid ready before uh, before I am. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, on October 24th, same day, we have uh, Just Dance 2018. Can't wait what? for that one. Right. So, if you remember <laughs> rightly, uh, one, I think one of our podcasts last year was called Just Fin 2017. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Because of this same thing. Yeah. Will you be, uh, will you be getting Just Dance 2018 on Switch or something? Of course, yeah, every year. Mm. I'm surprised I don't send you for, for free at this point. I know, right? Mm. Yeah, I don't know. Bastards. <laughs> 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 on October 27th, we have another big game coming out. Uh, two big games coming out, actually. First one is Assassin's Creed Origins. Very excited it's, uh, for this. Yeah, it looks awesome. It looks so good. And, uh, I know it's going to be in 4K HDR on PS4 Pro as well. Always. And I, could only imagine how good it's going to look. Oh, yeah. Mika so has good. played it, and he Ooh. said it looks glorious, and they've changed glorious. the control scheme as well. Oh, yeah. Mm. Uh, they, they said they've revamped it completely, so uh, that's going to oh, wow. be very interesting. So uh, I'm excited. Yeah, me too, yeah. It's been a while since uh played the Assassin's Creed game. Mm. I still need to play bloody Syndicate. <laughs> I've still got it on my shelf. need to play through. A Syndicate's but. good. It is good. It's... um. You know, it needed a break after Syndicate, I think, because, you yeah, know, there's been right. one a year for the last, what, eight years? 800 years, yeah. So, <laughs> um, I think it was, you know, a year off, although technically it wasn't a year off because they brought the Ezio collection out. <laughs> yeah. But, <laughs> they couldn't help themselves. No, we're having a year off, but here's a new game anyway. Um, <laughs> but yeah, this looks really, really cool. Look, the setting looks awesome. So I, ca- I just can't wait to see how it looks and, uh, just to see how it plays. Yeah, same here. It's going to be big, going to be a good one. Yeah. Uh, same day. Three of the good ones. Super Mario Odyssey on the Switch. Oh God! Holy damn! This the next big Mario game. Uh, this is good. There's no two ways about it. This is going to be special. Oh yeah. It's, it's the it's first big Mario game since like um. Help me out here. Galaxy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Galaxy. Galaxy <laughs> two. <laughs> Galaxy two on the. Wii. Yeah, Galaxy one and two. Yeah, on the Wii. There's there's awesome, amazing games. Uh, we had Super Mario 3D Land on. Uh, the Wii U, which is fine. Um, Wasn't that the one from uh, the 3DS, though? Uh, no, it's one on the 3DS. One, no, it's 3D World on Wii U, wasn't it? Oh, 3D okay. Land, 3D Land on 3DS and 3D World on Wii U. Okay, right. I know, I know we're good. Don't get me wrong. They're great Mario games. Um, but, but didn't really feel like a big step up from um, uh, Galaxy. Okay. But this feels like the next step. I mean, it looks phenomenal. It really yeah. does. I mean, it looks completely original. Um and I've no doubt in my mind that it's going to be excellent. Nothing short of excellent. Oh, yeah. It'll be great. Uh, the hat mechanic looks really good, like possessing enemies with your hat. Yeah. It looks uh, so, yeah. so much fun. I can't wait. So excited. Um, also on the same day, another big one, uh, Wolfenstein 2, the new Colossus. Mm, wow. They're throwing out the big releases in October. <laughs> yeah, seriously. It is that time of year now, though, so where every month in the run-up to Christmas, you are going to get a massive games. Oh, yeah. But this For one, sure. this one will be awesome. I love the new blood. Mm. Uh, sorry, the new order and old blood. Yeah, those are great games. Two superb games, and uh, this will be awesome as well because Bethesda know how to do shooters. They do indeed. They old school do. shooters as well. Yeah. This is very and much a don't look down the sides, just fucking shoot. <laughs> just hold, hold my trigger to win. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then possibly the biggest game of the of the month and the entire year and our entire lives. Possibly. Uh, Bub- Bubsy, the Woolies, strike back on Jesus. PC and PS4. Uh, that's right, he's back. <sighs> Nobody what, asked for him to wrong? come back. Nobody. <laughs> what are you talking about? I, I, I thought everyone wanted Bubsy back. It's, it's the greatest mascot of all time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Bigger, than, bigger than Mario, bigger than Sonic. Yeah. I'm What's lying, he even a course. mascot for? <laughs> Who even knows? It's, it's, <laughs> I remember that it's, game was just on different random consoles. It's on literally everything, yeah. It's like Mega Drive. Uh, Super Nintendo, Atari Jaguar, lots of things. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <Literally everything. laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. Um, there's a wasn't there a Bubsy 3D as well at some point? Oh god, yeah, that was possibly the worst game ever made. Yeah, fucking awful. <laughs> I don't understand the logic behind bringing Bubsy back. It's just so, it's like nobody wants this shit game. It's so weird. It's come back. <laughs> Look, you know, if it's gonna be good, fine. But let's be honest, it, it won't be. Probably won't be. Oh my goodness. Um, so yeah, that's uh, that's it for October. Okay, solid month. 
Yeah, good go, month. Go buy Bubsy. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> he has to make our podcast thumbnail this week. Oh yeah, absolutely. Oh yeah, he's got to be there. This is this is this in the corner. <laughs> where he should be yeah um, not really much in the way of gaming news uh, PS4 p- uh, firmware 5.0 is out now uh, mm. it does a load of stuff that you know sure it's fine uh, you get 1080p streaming to Twitch if you want it or um, 60, 60 FPS yeah uh, The Me. Witcher 3 has got a PS4 Pro patch that adds oh, yeah. 4k support so that's going to look cool. more gorgeous than it already does more gooder more gooder <laughs> And the Star Wars Battlefront 2 beta starts today if you have pre-ordered the game. Uh, I say today, today as in the day we're recording, so Wednesday the 4th, you'll hear this on Friday the 6th. Yes. And you'll actually be able to play it anyway then, so. Sweet. Yeah, but uh, yeah, pretty much it. Nothing really that exciting as far as gaming news is concerned. So, let's move on to the Mm. second wrestling portion of this week's podcast. (laughs) Yes. Run away then. Um, so, Hell in the Cell is uh, this Sunday. It certainly is. Yet another pay per view. Another another pay per view, and of course, you will be able to catch Finn and myself on YouTube dot com forward slash Daydreamer Gaming this coming Sunday evening as we give our predictions on the game. Of course, on the last game, of a on the uh, on the on, on, on the, the, on the event on the game. Yes, yeah. And the last of a stream in in two K seventeen as well. Woohoo! Finally. We never have to play it again. I can delete it from my console. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Only to then download WWE 2K18 onto my console. Good time. <laughs> yeah. Oh, dear. So, uh, yeah, it's a mixed bag this week, wrestling, I think. Uh, what was okay? Smackdown. Uh, uh, for a go-home show, Smackdown. Uh, pretty garbage, yeah. Yep, yeah, pretty much. There's a few, <laughs> few uh, takeaway little bits from, from Raw this week, though. One massive bit, but... Uh, Take it away, Finn. Okay, okay. Right, so it started off the night with uh, Braun Strowman versus Seth Rollins. Uh, because Dean, Dean did it last week, and whatever you can do, I can do better, I guess. Sure. Uh, and it was a good match. Seth got some good offense in, but of course ended up losing because he's Braun Strowman. Yep. Um, but it was good. I liked it. Um, after the match, uh, Cesaro and Seamus came down, um, hit the uh, neutralizer on Dean, who came down to help because I think um, Braun attacked after the match, didn't he? he did Seth. indeed, yeah. Yeah, that was it. Sorry, I got my, my all of events mixed up. <laughs> Not to worry, doesn't matter. So uh, as Bourne was leaving, uh, someone Samus came came down and beat them up, basically. And it was cool. It was um, cool. Yeah, and Cesaro had like was wearing mouth guard, which I thought actually pretty good. I thought it suited him. Yeah. Because he got smashed up from uh, No Mercy. Yep. And, uh, did you, did you yeah. see that t-shirt that WWE released, by the way? Oh, yeah, yeah. The, yeah. Swiss, Swiss Superman. Yeah. A Swiss Thighball, wasn't it? Something like that. Oh, something like that, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Stay classy. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I like uh, matches starting Raw. Yeah, me too. There's, there's many big matches like Thrawn vs. Seth. Yeah, I like, don't get me wrong, I like talking segments just fine, but um, I'm all for matches starting Raw. I think we talked about this before, ages ago now. When there was like a yeah. few weeks worth of uh, Raw shows that started with an awesome match, but then it just seemed to not do it anymore. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of stopped it. Mm. But um, yeah, how do you think back? Yeah. Um, so yeah, so then we had like a uh, Mickey James bit, which is going backstage, and like uh, Emma and um, at least Lady Vox were making fun of her because she was old. Um, she's thirty eight, which is not old. <laughs> yeah, that's not <laughs> old. break. Alicia yeah. Fox is not that much younger, in, I don't think, than Mickey James. No, I think, yeah, seriously. It's like <laughs> in fact, I'm going to look now. <laughs> uh, I yeah, like that Mickey is uh, getting a little bit of TV time here. Yeah, it's good. Um, Mickey's good. He's one of the best they've got on the roster at the minute, I think. Yep, for um, sure. Yeah, it's so good he's getting some, uh, some TV time. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, Alicia Fox is only 31, but still, 38 mm. is not old. Yeah, exactly. Cut that shit out, please. <laughs> yeah, seriously. It's like when, like, ages ago, it's his first in WWE, and it's like a Piggy James thing, making fun of it because he was, quote-unquote, fat, when she, <laughs> yeah. she clearly wasn't. <laughs> yeah, ridiculous. So dumb. Yeah, incredibly dumb. But, you know, oh well. Um, yeah, so after that, we had, like, a weird Bray Wyatt thing with him going insane, mm. uh, as he does. <laughs> yeah. Um, I have an opinion on this Bray stuff. I mean, obviously, we'll talk about it very shortly when we go into the uh, other segment, but yeah. Yes, yes. Um, so we had uh, Elias Samson versus Titus. 
Elias versus Titus. It rhymes. I don't know. Uh, Elias won. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was weird to see Titus actually have a match. Has he been injured or something? And that and now they're just reintroducing him as having matches. I don't, I don't know. I think they realise he's not very good at wrestling, so it's got to say, it's put him in a suit and have him be a manager. But he's good at being a dad, Finn, and that's he why <laughs> he's important to WWE. I guess so, yeah. He's yeah. the best dad they've got. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> dad of the year, Titus O'Neil. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> but Elias won because, you know, they seem to be pushing Elias in no direction at all. Uh, yeah. He just seems to be winning matches for the sake of winning matches and singing songs, and sure. Yeah, but it's fine. It's all good. Uh, so we had uh, Night Jacks versus Mickey James, yeah. and it was fine. Yeah, you know what? <laughs> Actually, I I did quite enjoy it. I I enjoyed Mickey giving Night Jacks a good match because Mickey is a good wrestler. And, yes, yes. Um, I'm a little bit disappointed it's taken her until now during her comeback to actually get a little bit of a push on TV. Yeah, she had a good start with her coming in as a heel, but then she kind of lost all the momentum and. Still, kind of went nowhere. Yeah, but um, um, now I'm, 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 I'm enjoying it. I mean, to be honest, uh, I only see this going one way. Uh, but obviously, least, they're going to yeah. have uh, Alexa versus Mickey at TLC. Mm-hmm. Mickey's going to lose. Alexa will be standing in the ring with a the title. Then Oscar will make her debut. Ah, uh, yes, of course. So that's exactly what's going to happen. They're not going to have. Mickey James win the title as a face for Oscar to debut as a face and then fight the face who's just won the championship. No, yeah, that, that not going to happen. No way. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the match itself, it was fine. Uh, Mickey was about to win with a, like a DDT on the top rope. Mm-hmm. Then Alexa came in and broke it up. And Yeah. It, it is a little strange in the context of the way that Nia's been booked recently to have her not squish Mickey, but I think it's hmm. also maybe to make it believable that Mickey could actually beat Alexa by taking Nia to the limit. I don't know. Yeah, I think you're really right. Um, so yeah, so now so we had uh, Matt Hardy and his good tag team partner, Jason Jordan. Mm-hmm. Uh, long-time tag team partner, as you know. Wearing shorts <laughs> now, by the way. Uh, yep, it's changed his ring tie for whatever reason. They've taken him out of the singlet. I don't know why. Now they've made him look even more generic than he did <laughs> anyway. Yeah, seriously. Strange. Uh, Stacey versus uh, Gallus and Anderson. Good Anderson. Mm. Good the glub. glub. The glub. Yeah, the blub. <laughs> Hang on, which one was it? The blub or the glub? I can't remember. Blub, wasn't the it? The blub, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and it was, it was decent. And uh, Gallus and Anderson actually won, which shocked me. <laughs> yeah, <And> me too. Because <laughs> <laughs> they never seemed to win. Um, but yeah, it makes sense because they're, you know, an actual team. And mm-hmm. Mahon and Jason Jordan aren't. <laughs> this is kind of playing together because I'm intrigued as to where this is going because obviously they're they're saying oh Matt's on the search for a new tag team partner so is he just going to try new people out each week until eventually he goes crazy and because he's not winning matches or maybe that could happen that could cool. happen because I don't know how long Jeff's out for they've not said they just said he was going to have surgery much needed yeah. surgery from what I've heard but um, a, a Matt Hardy sense, singles though. run would uh, be fine by me. Yeah, especially especially if it's like a heel one as well, that'd be cool. Yeah, then then bring Jeff back on SmackDown. Don't bring him back on Raw. Bring him back on SmackDown. Yeah, yeah, we, we, we've seen that a few before. We didn't see it again. Yep. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, then we had uh, the Miz. The, the Miz. Miz versus Roman Reigns for the Intercontinental Title, mm. and it was good. It was good. Uh, so the, the Miz and Miz Ross made their entrance to the crowd, most like the shield you see. Mm-hmm. Uh, before the match, Roman Reigns went nuts and uh, killed Bo Dallas and Kurt Axel. <laughs> literally killed them as well like they they were annihilated by uh, a, a just a, just a chair shot after chair shot after chair shot to the back yeah like a miss is kind of stood there in the ring doing like no stop that not going to help it's just like no please no oh, mm, well, well. oh okay just do it <laughs> just do it and then get it over with <laughs> so they're, yeah. they're dead rip yep rip uh, <laughs> and it was, good, it was a good match uh, force finishes everywhere uh, score question finales which got kicked out of uh, Superman punches uh, Roman was about to eat his spear, but it was interrupted by Cesaro and Sheamus. No mm. snap. What, uh, uh, obviously, tonight. to avoid false finishes, what Miz needs to do is change his finishing move to the F5. Yeah, oh yeah, of course, yeah. Because you only need one of them. And, <laughs> exactly, uh, yeah. You know, he'd have won, but... Yeah, well. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, so after the match, uh, everyone hits a finisher, uh, followed by the classic seal drop powerbomb, um, which is what it's called, and then they did like the little posing ring. Um, shield pose with Sean and Seamus doing their bar 
something. Which looked cool, by the way. You notice how they just, they just fucked Bo Dallas and Curtis <laughs> Axel right off. <laughs> yeah. We, no one will just see that feud. But, but, but there's no time to say what you said. Well, it's a no contest, isn't it? If it's Miz and the Miseraj versus the Shield, there's only one winner. <laughs> yeah, seriously. <laughs> it's not even a contest. It's like, yeah. Oh, dear. Yeah. So that's cool. I like that a lot. Yeah, I liked it as well. I, you know, I'm actually uh, pretty excited. Yeah, me too. Mm. Uh, so after that, we had a little uh, in-ring promo from Finn Balor, mm-hmm. uh, calling out Bray Wyatt. Uh, Bray responds uh, by going crazy. It's saying that Abigail is alive. Oh, snap. Mm, yeah. So, debut coming soon? Question mark? <sighs> I have to be honest, Finn. In 2017, I'm really struggling with the supernatural stuff. Yeah. Like, in 1994, when Undertaker, <laughs> you know, became alive after his casket match with Yokozuna. Yokozuna had buried him. <laughs> You know, the Undertaker appears on the screen and he's alive and it's like, oh my God, Undertaker. It's like, when you're 10 years old, like, <laughs> yeah, that's right. you can buy into that. Yeah. But when Bray Wyatt is turning into the girl from the fucking ring on the screen, <laughs> right? Yeah, I'm, I'm struggling with it. I have to be honest. I saw it and I was like, yeah, okay, right. So what we're going to, we're going to have Bray Wyatt, who is seemingly getting fatter every week. I don't mean to, you know, to sound so blunt about it, but he is. Oh, <laughs> no, I'm sorry, he just is. He's getting fatter every week. So, you know, we're going to see fat Bray Wyatt dressed as the girl from the ring versus Demon Finn Balor <laughs> at TLC. Is that what, that's what's going to happen here? I don't understand. Is Bray I... Wyatt's sister Abigail with a beard? I don't, I don't know. I don't <laughs> understand. Surely not. I think they're going to have someone come in and debut as sister Abigail. Yep. Um, but, but Finn, I don't want that. <laughs> I don't understand. I just, yeah. I'm struggling. Remember, has it, it's going to be someone from uh, the... Um, Mayan Classic. I can't remember who exactly it was. Even worse. Yeah. It's somebody we've already seen. (laughs) Not as Sister Abigail as well, which is even worse. Yeah, it's a weird one. I don't know where to go with this. Finn, I don't want it. No, Don't do not want (laughs) is the the long and short of it. Uh, Yeah, no, I can't. I just can't. Nope. (laughs) Yeah, same. It's it's a weird one. It's like on the screen, like, yeah, fine. The paint and stuff... With Finn Balor, I can deal with because he was doing it before, but it wasn't a character. It was just Finn in paint. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. But now it's a character, and oh god, I, don't, I just don't know. They ruined it, yeah. Yeah, they've ruined it. <laughs> that's, it. <laughs> that's, that's it. Ruined. He's now just merchandise. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah, go dress as the demon, sell some t-shirts and some pop vinyls and shit. And <laughs> Bray, um, we need you to dress as the chick from the ring. I'm, you know, just do it. because <laughs> yeah. because supernatural powers and shit. There you go. <sighs> oh dear. But it's fine. So after that, we, <laughs> we had, after that, we had, uh, Sasha Banks and Bailey, uh, tagging up versus Emma and Alicia Fox. Yeah. Alicia Fox is back wrestling now. Um, yeah. I skipped this match. Um, it, it was alright. It was alright. Um, Alicia went to tag in, uh, tag in Emma, but, uh, Emma denied and walked off. And then Bailey hit her belly to belly and won. Good guys win. And uh, Emma just is more of a heel than she was before. A shrug. Yeah, I'm. I'm all for <laughs> the character development of Emma. Yeah, that's fine. Um, but otherwise, I I couldn't give two shits about this. Yeah, it's a weird one. It's Especially a bit of a nothing thing at the minute, already. isn't it? Because you know, other than you know, the, the title picture is the title picture, but then they never seem to get it right for me these days with storylines outside of the championship, women wise at least. Yeah. It's, I, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what like, they're doing. Here, fight for no reason. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think this will eventually uh, end in a Sasha Banks heel turn. It needs to. Uh, Sasha Banks is so much better as a heel, yeah. character wise, as much better as a heel. Agree. And plus, she's not likable. No one fucking likes her. No one. <laughs> yeah, it's like, it's like the uh, CM Punk thing all over again, isn't it? It is, yeah. It, yeah, it is. <laughs> CM Punk, Seth Rollins, all those douchebags who no one likes <laughs> playing good guys just, just doesn't work. Yeah, Randy Orton thrown in there as well. Oh, Randy Orton, yeah, Jesus Christ, that's the worst. Yeah. He's the worst. <laughs> yeah, seriously, he even says it himself, he's like, he didn't like me in the face. He yeah. Like me heel. Yeah, because he's just rubbish at it. Yeah. <laughs> God. I don't know. Hopefully soon. I feel like Rusev being a face, wouldn't it? Like, I, <laughs> yeah. Like, the Rusev is pretty funny, to be fair. Yeah, true, but you couldn't imagine him being a face, could you? No, you couldn't. No. It'll, it'll happen one day. Oh, God, do you remember the Miz's face run? That was awful. I don't, and that's probably why. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was it was so bad. Yeah. Uh, that's about a month. Yeah. 
They probably realised that this is just no, Mrs. Mrs. a dick. It's just <laughs> yeah. Let's just make him a dick on TV. This is oh dear. Uh, so the main events question mark was uh, Enzo <laughs> in the ring oh, yeah. slagging off slagging off the um, cruiserweight division as he does. Yeah. And uh, but as much as I hate to admit it, he's kind of got a point. He did put the two or five live um, on the map, quote unquote. And now, uh, people care about it now. As much as we <laughs> didn't want this to happen, yeah, Enzo has taken the ball and ran with it. Yep, and it works. He's turned heel and he's turned on the crowd, and the crowd just did not know how to take it at all. <laughs> yeah, it's like it's weird. You got like the casual fans who still kind of cheer him, still uh, chat along. Then you got the guys who like actually care about the good like, divisions, like the hardcores, mm. booing him. It's interesting. I like it. But, you know, even like, he turned full arrogant champion heel. Oh, yeah. Which I sure. think suits him perfectly. And yeah. he's just doing an excellent job of it. And now when the Cruiserweight division just surrounded the ring and he just tore them all a new arsehole, it's like, I can't wait to see this guy get the shit kicked out of him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And he's, and that's the point of, of, of his, his character. And he's just doing it to perfection. And, you know, he's not great. When that bell rings, the fun stops because Enzo's crap in the ring. <laughs> yeah, seriously. But everything else that he's doing right now with that championship is perfect. And he's making people care about the Cruiserweight division in 205 Live because, obviously, they're putting it at the end of Raw mm. uh, as the go-home thing to make it relevant, to make people think that it is a real big deal. You're closing the show, you're a big deal. Yeah, and it's cool. Uh, it's Enzo's work here is very commendable. As much as I didn't want to see him with the championship, from a two hundred five live and from a business perspective, and you know the longevity of two hundred five live, it makes perfect sense. Hmm, it's cool, and it's a cool uh, little segment as well. Uh, so cruiserweights came down and like surrounded the ring, it's like oh, but how you can't touch me because if you touch me, you're fired. And then the uh, Kurt Angle came down. And introduces uh, the newest member of the Cruiserweight division. And everyone got really excited, like, "Oh, who's going to be? Who, who, who?" And it's Kalisto. And everyone was kind of like, "Oh, yeah, I guess that makes sense." Yeah, well, yeah <laughs> it was like, "Oh, Kalisto." Well, that should have happened when Two Hundred Five Live launched. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Instead, he was fighting Braun Strowman for no reason at all. <laughs> yeah, seriously. <laughs> because that doesn't make sense. Uh, I don't know. Um, but uh, yeah, Kalisto, I like Kalisto, so I'm down for that. And that's more star power and talent to Two Hundred Five Live. So. Yeah. Uh, I'm completely down with it. Absolutely yeah. down with it. I like, his, I like his new ring gear as well. Me too. His music's still shit though. Yeah, it is a bit. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's sure. well, it's well sure. shit, yeah. Yeah. But you know, there was a few lucha chants in the crowd and everybody was happy to see Enzo get the shit kicked out of him. So, hey, <laughs> everyone goes home, ha- everyone goes home happy. I, I, I was happy. I, I, I had a smile on my face watching that segment because I thought this is a, this could be a real turning point for the cruiserweight division. Yeah, definitely. And, and at least we'll get in a uh, title shot at uh, Hell the, uh, not Hell the, uh, TLC. Mm. No doubt. And, uh, yeah. Cool. Cool. I like it. Um, but then, after that, uh, we had just a uh, random shot of Roman Reigns in the back, looking hurt and beat up. And then kind of Dean enters the picture, and then Seth, always kind of looking on each other. Mm. Like, yeah, this is happening. Yeah. So, uh, Shield Union, yay. Yeah, um, I saw a thing earlier on, actually. So, um, when, when the shield got, when the first shield first appeared on Raw, it was in Indianapolis. Oh yeah. When the shield broke up, when Seth turned heel, it was in Indianapolis. Oh. Next week's Raw is in Indianapolis. Ah, uh, I see what they're doing. Okay. I see what they're doing. So, um, <laughs> what? To be honest, what Roman should do is come down to the ring first thing on Raw next week and go. All right, if you want a shield reunion, fine. But where the fuck were you when I was getting the crap kicked out of me last week? <laughs> yeah, seriously. Well, you were backstage. Why don't you just come and help? Yeah, yeah. Those same guys that beat you up earlier on in the night beat me up when you were nowhere to be found. Yeah. What, what's your Bag excuse? <laughs> <laughs> but that won't happen because wrestling. Yeah. And uh, yeah. to be honest, I know we've talked about the shield reunion and is it too soon and all this sort of stuff, but I have to be honest, I was a little bit excited when I saw the three of them together. I thought, yeah, I'm Me ready too. for this. Me too, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it was originally we, we talked about, like, she, she talked it. I'm actually kind of excited for it now as well. <laughs> uh, I do have an opinion though. Okay. Um, I think this is to make Roman Reigns popular again. 
Oh yeah, obviously. Everything is. Absolutely. Is. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Uh, and I also think that this will carry on for a long time. It won't just um, be a one-off match so. against The Miz and the, the Bar. I think it will be a case of um, they'll dominate until Roman Reigns wins that championship. Um, yeah, so I think that'll be going all that time. I really do because WWE want you to like Roman Reigns. They want the fans <laughs> to like Roman Reigns. So when they're in the Shield, everyone loves Roman Reigns. When on his own, <laughs> everyone fucking hates him. But <laughs> yeah, it's like it's it's not even a thing. If everyone just fucking hates him. Yeah. Um, again, all right, reset. We we'll go yeah. back back to what it was before. Yeah. <laughs> Try again. Yeah. yeah. Exactly that. They're, they're, <laughs> they're backtracking. Put them all together again. Have a what will absolutely be a quality match at. Uh, Whatever the next raw pay per view is, TLC, whatever. Oh, yeah. And then they'll keep it going through Survivor Series, and then all of a sudden it'd be the you know, you know, time will just pass by, and Roman Reigns will be champion, and you'll be like, oh fuck, shit, we fucking <laughs> oh, hate shit, Roman Reigns. <laughs> so, yeah. Boo! <laughs> this is, time will just pass by, and then next thing you know, Roman Reigns will be WWE champion, Universal yeah. champion. Sorry. And I'll be okay with it. I'll be, I'll be totally fine, fine with that. Um, yeah, hey, look, was, if Brock yeah. isn't champion, I'm fine. <laughs> yeah, seriously, I'm, so, I'm sick of Brock now. I was sick of Brock weeks ago, but uh. <laughs> I was sick of Brock months ago. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was sick oh, of dear. Brock when he put a hole in Randy Orton's head. Yeah, that was too much. That was turning point for me. <laughs> yeah, uh, it was just too uh. much. But um, you know, when at least when Reigns is champion, you know the championship will be on TV every week, and you know True. he'll he'll defend it, and you you know you'll have challenges like Samoa Joe and other people. Mainly, I just <laughs> want to see Samoa Joe, but um, you know. That'd be cool. Stuff like that. And yeah, it'll just be, it'll be a better time because at least the championship that you all want to see on TV so badly will actually be on TV every week. Yeah. And, you know, we had to see more shield matches and there were some amazing shield matches back in the day. Like with the Usos against, uh, well, against the Usos rather, against like Evolution and all yeah. that. Oh, them, matches. The, the matches against Evolution are incredible. Yeah, yeah. So in good. Fact, I might go back and watch them actually because they are awesome. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All about that. I went back and watched uh, CM Punk versus Cena from Money in the Bank, actually. The other oh, that's a, such a good match. Yeah, it is such a good match. It just tells a great story as well. Yeah, seriously. I honestly believe that is the last time the WWE Championship mattered. <laughs> Probably, yeah. Or was made to be important. Because it was like, he's going to leave our company. Vince was like, he's going to leave our company with our championship, our top yeah. prize. And you think, well, that's it. The WWE Championship matters here. Yeah. Exactly how it should. But... I, th- I, I think, think that was the last time it was properly important. Agreed. I do think they're going to talk to more with it as well after like, after the match. Like, because Steam came back like two weeks later. I think, I think they've had him win gone for months and months. Let him go to like indie shows like with the title. Yeah. Like Ring of Honor and all, all, so all, we, all that. We, like, that the, was awesome. we all know he's signed with WWE. He's got, they, <laughs> would not, they would not put him in the main event and have him win the belt if he hadn't signed. So exactly. K Fabe <laughs> it up. Let him go fuck about in Ring of Honor or do whatever he needs to do. Um, yeah, that's, uh, that, you know, that's, I mean, that's a, that, that rewriting history is another conversation for another time. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, that's one of the podcasts. <laughs> yeah, really, completely. But, um, uh, yeah, that, you know, that, that, that is the last time the championship mattered. And it matters even less when it's not on TV every week. Yeah, agreed. Yeah. Um, so yeah, as well, it was decent. It was fine. Okay. It was fine. Yeah. Uh, SmackDown on the hand was garbage. <laughs> <laughs> so we started off with, uh, Shinsuke Nakamura, Shinsuke Nax, uh, in the ring with a uh, interview with Renee Young. Mm. Uh, it was interrupted by the good old Smith Brothers, <laughs> <laughs> who introduced Jinder Mahal, 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 Mahal. How do you pronounce it? Jean Durr. Jean Durr, that's the one. Uh, who attacked him from behind and, um, yeah, beat him up a bit. Yeah. Shrug. Sure. <laughs> um, I have to be honest, I, I've not enjoyed the build up to this. The Jinder promos, for the most part, have not been funny. Um, no, like with the f- Nakamura's faces on the screen and stuff it's just like this isn't funny who's written this shit it's like yeah it's not good it's just not funny <laughs> like, to be honest I've not even seen him because I've been skipping him because I've been like this looks shit so I skip yeah <laughs> you, you, you know Jin, obviously Smackdown's been mostly empty these last few weeks as well so Jin has been doing that promo to nobody yeah pretty much yeah and or Jinder. it's I don't know it's just not been good build up I don't think Nakamura's been built up enough to actually win that championship but uh, I'll talk about yeah. that when we give our predictions shortly. Yeah, okay. Cool. Uh, so that was the thing. And then we had uh, Carmella and Natalia versus Charlotte and Becky, mm. who are now best friends for whatever reason. Sure. 
<laughs> um, the thing I, I hate about SmackDown is like half the matches are cut out, cut in half by bloody adverts. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it's only see half the match. It's so annoying. Um, I think the reason Charlotte and Becky are friends is because after Hell in a Cell, um, I think they begin the build to Survivor Series, maybe. Oh, yeah. Unless there's another SmackDown pay-per-view at the end of October, I'm not sure. But uh, I think you're mm. going to see the four horse women of WWE versus four legitimate women who would literally beat the shit out of them uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. from UFC uh, at Survivor Series. That'd be awesome. I'd be yeah, having that. would be awesome, yeah. Cool. Anyway, yeah. Um, well, hiccups now. Uh, right. Uh, so yeah, it's a fine match. Um, bleh. Come on, let attack. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let attack Becky. Becky on the outside with a briefcase behind the ref's back. And then the Tano ended up winning... Um, uh, by hitting the swap show on Charlotte, you tapped out, and it's fine. Yeah, yep. I keep forgetting that Natalia is even the SmackDown Women's Champion. To be honest, yeah, same here. <laughs> Just seems so out of place. That's how memorable this is. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Uh, then we had like a nothing match with uh, Bobby Woo mm. versus Mike and Ellis. He stood around apparently. <laughs> yeah, and to be honest, I think he's fucked because without Maria, yeah, who is currently pregnant. Yep. Um, he doesn't have much about him because let's be honest, when you see Mike Canellis, you're not looking at Mike Canellis, you're looking at <laughs> Maria Canellis, who is lovely. It's true, yes. Um, plus now, with, with her not around, his music fucking is pointless. <laughs> yeah, seriously. What's it gonna be the power of love on his own? Yeah. Do Maybe he have like a picture of Maria just on his phone or something. <laughs> or on his ass, like uh, like Shawn Michaels used to have like some sensational sherry on the oh, tights, yeah. <laughs> have like Maria graffitied on his tights or something. Well, to be fair, he does have like Maria's like silhouette on his tights, doesn't he? Oh, true. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's, it's, uh, it, 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 it's not a good start for Mike Canellis, let's put it that way. Yeah, that's true. Poor Mike. Um, so yeah, so after the match, uh, Dolph Ziggler came down, did like another entrance with a bunch of like drums and stuff. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, more seeing punk chants, which actually, they were at a point, that would have been pretty cool. <laughs> seeing, 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 uh, Dolph doing seeing punk entrance. Yeah. They should have done it, actually. <laughs> that would have been awesome. It, it would have been amazing. Um, but no, just made a bunch of annoying, annoying noises and, uh, yeah. Me. Yeah. I, I don't care. I, I really don't care about this. I think, uh, from what I've read and, um, I think Dolph Ziggler might be off. Uh, yeah, uh, the rumors were that, uh, Dolph Ziggler will be having his food to Bobby Roode to help get, get, get Bobby over on the main roster, and then he's gonna bugger off. He's not gonna renew his contract, and he's gonna do, like, indie stuff. Fine. Uh, see ya. Which, yeah, I'm totally fine with. Um, Dolph Ziggler's ran his put- course in WWE now. I don't see mm. how, um, he can be relevant now. It'd be tough, yeah. Um, you very well do much better on the indies than he's done in WWE. Uh, with, like, Cody Rhodes has done. Yeah, he'll probably join the Bullet Club like everyone else does <laughs> and yeah. all that sort of stuff. And ugh. Yes, what do you that, think of the old uh, Bullet Club invasion thing, by could, the way? Couldn't care less. Um, to be honest, <laughs> no. uh, they're just trying to get... It's just it's an attention thing, isn't it? It's a, uh, yeah. ple- please watch indie wrestling and don't watch WWE. <laughs> uh, because, uh, and I don't care what anybody says, Cody Rhodes will end up back in WWE. Oh, of course you will, yeah. Um, I, see that. I don't rate the Young Bucks. Um, do you want to know my team in it matches? Um, I hear they're good. They're fine. Shrug. I just, I think they're, <laughs> I think they're overhyped. Yeah, perhaps. And I think that if, even if they were to come to WWE, I think they're too small. Maybe, maybe. Uh, they're, they're very, very thin. And to be honest, they're probably no bigger than the, the Smith brothers. <laughs> well, yeah. When you see them. And the Smith brothers were a tag team on the Indies. They, they, they look small in WWE. They do. That's true. I mean, you know, in the Cruiserweight Classic, it's fine. But, like, when you're standing next to Jinder Mahal, it was fucking enormous. <laughs> yeah. You know, um, it's it's difficult for guys like that to succeed on a realistic level. Yeah, that's true. I mean, I don't know. Uh, I just think the Bullet Club is... It's 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 going very NWO latter days for me. Yeah, I see what you mean. Just more t-shirts more for everybody, like, and it's like, yeah. oh, this isn't cool anymore. I mean, I, mean, I like... I mean, I like Certain parts of it, like uh, Mike's girl, is great. Mm. Kenny Omega is great. I, I do like Cody. Um, oh, I, I don't get me wrong. Individually, I like uh, the the wrestlers. I, I think Cody is obviously is awesome, but he's yeah, very yeah. much a WWE guy. Yeah, and we'll end up back there for certain. I think for sure. Uh, Mike's girl is great. 
but they they don't need the bullet club thing with them to to be, to be good. That's true. I do, I do think it like elevates them to the next level. Uh, like it gets them in more of the spotlight, which is it's a good thing. But uh, I don't know. I do think it's starting to win the scores a bit now. With the uh, whole bullet club. Yeah, I mean, I mean, still don't get me wrong. It's like still as popular as ever. T-shirts sell out like crazy. Oh, it was mad. I mean, they're selling them at Hot Topic shops in in America now. Yeah, yeah. That's why you see like so every, many of them event. everywhere. Like yeah. NXT, they're there. And Raw, the SmackDown, everywhere. Yeah. But I don't know. I just think it's it's too much at the minute. I think. Perhaps, yeah. I, you know, that might be an unpopular opinion. I mean, people, probably. you know, you know, among the the, the smarks of the world, you know, I'd probably get torn <laughs> torn down here. But I don't know. I think just rein it in a little bit. Maybe. No, not everybody needs a t-shirt. True. Um, just have one political t-shirt. Although, you know, merch money. So I make most money on the Indies, so that's what's going to happen. I don't know. I think, <laughs> I, I think I'm in the minority of people who, uh, I think the Bullet Club is a, is a great idea. Mm. But, you know, it was a great idea when AJ Styles was in the Bullet Club. He's been in WWE for two years now. Yeah, that's true, yeah. So, uh, it, it's, it, it's getting a bit NWO latter days for me. But that's only my personal opinion. Uh, I, Individually, I think the wrestlers are great. I'm just not overly hot on the young bucks, but again, I think that's probably unpopular opinion. Yeah, yeah it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. I, yeah, I don't really have, but I don't really see. No, I don't have time to watch much indie wrestling, so I don't really have an opinion one way or the other. I mean, so, we're, you know, yeah. you and I, we're, we're very much WWE guys. We'll watch indie wrestling if you know we had more access to it. I mean, yes, I know it's on the internet, but uh, <laughs> if I'm being perfectly honest, I can't be asked faffing to find it. <laughs> Yeah, it was that as well. It's like you have to pay for like subscription services. It's like, oh, you pay for WWE Network, I don't pay for anything else. But it's, it's, it's not made easy to watch, you know? It's like, yeah. if, if it was available on devices like WWE Network is, and even TNA, you can watch on your PlayStation or your Xbox or your Amazon TV or whatever. <laughs> yeah. But like, you know, make it easy to, to get to, like, you know, make an indie wrestling network. People would go nuts for it. And, That'd be awesome. Yeah, it'd be great. Like even the New Japan Network is a fucking ball ache. Is it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like I've signed up so I can watch Wrestle Kingdom, um, <laughs> but it's like you have to watch it on the website, and then if you want to do that, you can then beam it to your TV. And it's like I don't want to fucking do that. I just want to watch it on trouble. my TV. Yeah, yeah. But you know what? Um, yeah, we are very much WWE guys. I mean, I'd like to see Omega in WWE. Uh, I'd like That'd to see awesome. Mighty Girl in WWE. Um, mm-hmm. You know, fighting for the UK Championship could make that more prominent. That'd be awesome. Um, you know, Cody, I'd like to see back in WWE as Cody. Yep. You know, get surname back. <laughs> yeah, but um, don't do stuff that DX did years ago. Be original. Uh, yeah, I agree. About WWE didn't get the joke either because we still see so um, they're suing, uh, not suing you, but there's all like a season desist over the uh, too sweet hand gesture. Yeah, which is I think is a bit ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, no, nobody owns a fucking hand gesture. Yeah. It'd be like them trademarking the middle finger because Austin did it. Yeah, it's a bit petty, but, uh, hmm. yeah. Anyway. Anyway, completely now. off topic. Just a sad. <laughs> uh, what did we get it? Right. Um, so we had the, uh, Usos in the ring, uh, getting promo, uh, which was always good. Uh, knew they came down, um, you know, on to back. Yeah. Saying that they steal the show every pay per view, whether it's on the pre show or on the main show. And, uh, I held in the cell, it'll be no different. Which Fair is enough. probably going to be true. Yep. And it's also going to be inside Hell in a Cell, this match, apparently. Oh, okay, so, cool. Okay. Good. The over, classic overuse of the Hell in a Cell. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Um, so, yeah. That's all good. So, we had uh, Baron Corbin versus Ty Dillinger, um, which was it's all right. Probably, probably the best match of the night. Was that really the same match? Because only like th- two, three matches, two or three matches. Mr. <laughs> 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 um, Corbin was dominant throughout most of the match. Um, he did like a nice suplex into the ropes on the outside mm. and then kind of hung him there and I put him in the face. I thought that looked pretty cool. Nice. Um, and then Corbin was on top, went for like a suplex, but then Ty reversed it into a roll-up and Ty won. Oh, snap, out of nowhere. Excellent. Good. Um, Very good. You know, Baron Corbin is established and is already challenging for the US title. Ty Dillinger, in my opinion, needs the wins and needs this exposure that he's currently getting on SmackDown. So mm. I'm fine with it. It doesn't affect Baron Corbin at all losing that match but it does help Ty and uh, that's a good thing yeah and crowd popped big as well so that's always good 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 stuff uh, and then after that t- um, AJ Styles came on the Titantron saying oh you lose too much lol see you at Hell in a Cell 
Um, so yeah, that was that. And then we had that Rusev uh, doing get another um, in ring promo. Uh, mm-hmm. He's going to break Randy Allen the sound in front of the WWU universe, as he called it. Brilliant. Yep. <laughs> Great. Thanks, Rusev. <laughs> uh, happy Rusev Day, by the way, from last week. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, of course, happy Rusev Day. Card, so. I hope that sticks now <laughs> forever. I hope the internet never forgets. <laughs> yeah, that'd be cool. And that day forever is Rusev Day. Oh yeah. <laughs> Uh, so we had a quick match with Randy Orton versus Aiden English. Uh, Aiden was beaten like two minutes with a pop-up RKO out of nowhere. Mm. Trademark hashtag. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Aiden English fine. has had some good exposure out of this. He has, yeah. Aiden, oh, okay, Aiden. Yeah, me too. Um, what else happened? Then we got uh, Shano gets another promo. Ugh. Um, Why does he sweat so much? <laughs> yeah, I said like, it must be hot in that room. Well, it just starts opening his mouth and just sweat pours down his face. Yeah. Uh, so Kevin Owens interrupted, uh, said something like the crowd. Uh, but then left, so it's hard to with this. Uh, but Shane came down, chased him down, uh, but then got beaten up. Boys Troubles got powered on through a table backstage. Or through like a merch table. Uh, oh no, what about the Bullet Club t shirts? Oh no. <laughs> uh, then Kevin Owens came back down to the ring. Um, but then Shane, like, stumbled back towards the room because, you know, he's a man, he doesn't get beaten up that easily. Sure. I guess. Yeah. But then he gets beaten up. Because, of course. <laughs> <laughs> this, match is gonna, this match is going to close the show at Hell in a Cell, isn't it? It is, yeah. I think it's the main event. Yeah. Beer. Uh Which is why Nakamura won't win, but I'll go into that in a sec. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, yeah, got beaten up by Kevin Owens. He's a headbutt, much like his old man. Uh, pop a bow bomb. <laughs> and that was it. That was done. Sounded like a real stab at Vince there. Took a headbutt just like his old man. That was that stab? Well, no. It's dad, isn't it? Well, it? <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, so that was Smackdown. It was pretty shit, to be honest. But, uh, was a bit shit. Especially for a go home show uh, leading yeah. to uh, a pay per view. But, uh, yeah, is what it is. Yeah. So, speaking of the pay per view, it's mm. predictions time. It is. Hooray. Hooray. Right. Let's run through these quick. Okay, right. So, first match is on the pre-show. Uh, Chad Cable and Celty Benj versus the Hype Bros, who are no doubt break up during this. <laughs> they've been yeah. teasing that for weeks. So, Gable and Benjamin win. Hype yep, Bros split up. Yep, yep. And uh, which one do you think is going to turn heel? Do you think it's going to be um, Mojo uh, or... Yeah, I think it'd be Mojo, yeah. Zach. You think so? You think it'd be Mojo? Yeah, I think it'd be Mojo, yeah. I think Mojo needs... Needs it more. Hmm. Uh, Tread cares to do a um, side bet, or he's potentially. I think it's going to be uh, Zack Ryder. Ooh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll take that bet. Uh, I think. Okay. It, I think it'd be Mojo. I do. Cool. So is that going to be like a point overall, or point towards the total in the this bet thing? Hmm. Uh, a point towards the total bets. Total overall. Okay. Cool. That sounds good to me. Okay. Cool. So yeah, I also think it's going to be uh, Sultan Benjamin and Chad Gable, obviously. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so the first match we've got on the main show is uh, Randy Orton versus Rusev. Uh, I think Rusev will win. I think Rusev needs to win. I agree. I also said this last time and Randy Orton won. So uh, <laughs> I think this time Rusev does need to win. Yes, I agree. He does need to. Uh, I don't know if he... But what's Randy Orton actually doing? Yeah, uh, nothing. He's not turning heel, which he should. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be a garbage face forever. Um, yeah, he is. I think Rusev has to win, and that's why I'm going for Rusev. I just think he has to. I agree. I think Rusev has to win. And for that reason, I'm going to go for Orton, because we're always wrong. Yep, that's fair. Yep, that's true. We are <laughs> always wrong. We know nothing. We we, 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 we do this like on a weekly basis, just talk about wrestling for an hour, and then we it, ultimately, <laughs> when it comes down to it, it proves that we know nothing. Yeah, pretty much. We yeah. talk a good game, but, you know. Mm. <laughs> oh, dear. So we've got uh, Bobby Roode versus Dolph Ziggler. And probably Dolph Ziggler's last match for a while. <laughs> In which slash case, for, then forever. Bobby Roode wins. Oh, yeah. Of course. Um, yeah, Bobby Roode will win, I think. Dolph uh, Ziggler's gone. I hope so, anyway. I mean, I don't care for Ziggler anymore. Go and join the Bullet Club. <laughs> yes. Yeah, go, go and get yourself a Ziggler Club t-shirt. <laughs> um... And yeah, I think he's going to win as well. It's, it's just recently debuted, so there's no reason it's not going to win. And let him up the card a bit. Exactly. I mean, you can't have Rude uh, lose his first main roster pay-per-view match. Yeah, absolutely. 
Um, if they do, I just think it damages him. Uh, yeah, I agree. There's no reason for him to, uh, for him to lose, and we don't need to drag this feud out any longer than it needs to go on. Don't make another Ziggler versus Corbin feud, which went on forever. Yep. <laughs> don't do it. So just just have Rude win, then have Rude go on to do better things. I've got a prediction anyway. Yep. I'll, I'll I'll speak my mind a little bit later. Ooh, okay, okay. Right, so then we've got uh, AJ Styles versus Baron Corbin for the US uh, title. Uh, I'm gonna go for I'm gonna go for AJ Styles to win. Okay. I think I think he probably needs to. I think he needs to carry that title for a bit longer. Do the open challenge thing because people get excited for stuff like that. Because if Baron, if Baron Corbin wins it, I don't. Not really know what what he does with it. That's the, that's the, that's the problem. And we obviously have another AJ yeah. Styles match, but you know AJ winning it, it means something. He's like one of the biggest wrestlers in the entire world, and while he's holding that championship, uh, I think it means more than what it will do if Baron Corbin wins it. If that makes sense. Uh, yes, if that makes a lot of sense. Um, I agree, but <laughs> Baron's been, but AJ uh, Baron's been losing a lot. Recently, lost against Ty, lost, uh, lost his uh, money at the bank briefcase, lost against Cena. Um, he needs something. I think he needs to, I think he's going to win this, but then probably lose it again to AJ in a couple of weeks. But, uh, I think he needs something just to give him a bit of momentum at least for now. Uh, um, okay. Okay. Plus, it's WWE and WWE love to switch titles around they every do. five minutes. They so. really do, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, Baron Gordon for me. Okay. Uh, so we've got, uh, Natalia versus Charlotte for the women's title. Um, who we got? Because Ric Flair's been poorly, I think Charlotte will win. Oh yeah, yeah, That's a good point. Or, well, actually, no. Saying that, I'm gonna no. I'm gonna change my mind. The reason I'm gonna change my mind is because um, of what I said earlier on about the UFC girls fighting the WWE girls at Survivor Series. Oh. Um, that will free Natalia up to still defend the championship. So I think Natalia will win. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I also think Natalia's gonna win. Um, and yeah, it's a good point with uh, the four horsemen thing. And Natalia's not had a bit long, that long, and I think she needs a bit more to. Well, they'll say they've read about everyone, and they always lose it, so I don't know. But <laughs> <laughs> it, it would legitimize Natalia as the women's champion. Yeah, if she, she, knocks, she, needs, if she knocks off Charlotte for sure. Yeah, she needs it as well because she's not got a whole lot going for her at the moment. No. Um. Yeah. So we've got uh, the new day, baby, Resident, baby. Resident Usos in the Hell in a Cell tag team title match for the tag team titles. I expect I expect another great match. Oh yeah, it'll be great. No, uh, no. New Day are champions, right? Uh, they are, yes. Um, this is the last match they're having, isn't it? It's got to be, surely. <laughs> then the Usos win. Ooh, interesting. But that means they have to have a rematch. Then. No, no. Uh, if if they've said that this is going to be the last match, mm. and that they're not allowed, they're not fighting for it again. They're have not. They said that? Yeah, they, they, they've been playing that advert, haven't they? One last time they keep putting on that bloody advert um, thing. I keep, I keep skipping adverts. <laughs> yeah, so like the Hell in a Cell advert advertising the, the, this match, um, it says one last time. Interesting. So okay. I think Usos win. Interesting. But then what do New Day do after that? Don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, mm, it's a hard one. Hard one, hard one, hard one. That's what he said. Um, yeah. I'll go New Day. Just be different. Okay. It's a bit 50 50 with me. I could go either way, but I'll continue there just because do you want to say, basically. Fair enough. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to that match. Yeah, me too. I think that'd be awesome. It could be match of the night. Oh, yeah, for sure. Uh, so we've got uh, Jinnema Hall versus Shinsuke Nakamura for the WWE title. Okay, so I think Jinder wins. Okay. I don't think Shinsuke has been built up enough to win that championship. Not just yet, at least. Hmm. I think he will win it, but not he yet. But he should. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He either wins it at WrestleMania. That could happen. Or he goes into goes into WrestleMania as the champ and loses it at WrestleMania. Hmm. Yeah, do you think Shinsuke's going to hold on to that long? Or do you think someone else will win it and then... Have a bit of a match. Well, I think when after Bobby Roode beats Dolph Ziggler, I think Bobby Roode might challenge Jinder for the championship. Ah, uh, yeah, that could happen. And then Bobby Roode could win it, have it for a couple of months, maybe uh, turn heel, perhaps. Then yeah, I'll give it to turn heel at some point. Uh, I think 
well, I th- we're, we're going to build towards AJ Styles versus Nakamura at WrestleMania. Oh my goodness. WWE Spooch. knows the money is there. Right. Yeah. That's, oh yeah. That's what people want to see. And that's when people want to see it. So yep. regardless of who wins this match, because Nakamura won't win it now and uh, carry it all the way to WrestleMania, I don't think. Good point. I, uh, I, you know, I, I think Jinder's going to win this time. And then he'll lose it at some other point. Yeah. I think um, you might be right there. But we're, we're building towards Nakamura versus AJ at WrestleMania. How we get there, I, I'm not too sure. Uh, who cares? I just want to see it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and they, they, they did the for ages as well. Like, see last year's Money in the Bank? Or this year's Money in the Bank, what's I? Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, so I'm absolutely down for that. Um, so, see, I want to take as well for similar reasons. Um, yeah. Because I, I do want Tinsky Nakamura to win it, don't get me wrong. But, yeah, I think Jin's going to hold it onto it just a little bit longer. Just to, I don't know, I don't know who's going to face next. I mean, I, 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 I don't want him to win it here. I, mm. I, want, I want him to win it on the big stage. True, yeah, true. I would rather him beat, uh, I don't know, have Bobby Roode beat Jinder. Then at the okay. Raw Rumble, have AJ beat Roode. But have That'd Nakamura cool. win the Raw Rumble. Oh my goodness. And then you start that build and the excit you know, you you have three months worth of excitement then. Yeah, yeah, and seriously. A, and a, it will just be incredible. Don't have yeah. Reigns win the Royal Rumble because that's obvious. Again. <laughs> yeah. That's fucking obvious, isn't it? Isn't it? Yeah, seriously. Don't, don't have Reigns win it. You know, have that match build organically. Yeah. Because that that match is all you know, could already be a thing. Reigns versus Brock, right? Uh, both beat the Undertaker at WrestleMania. Match made. There you go. Instantly. Yep, you don't you need Perfect. any other build other than that. Who is the best? Who who is the best Undertaker beater? Is it, <laughs> is it Reigns or is it Brock? Fight at WrestleMania for the championship. There you go. There's your match done. Now, yeah, if definitely Nakamura isn't it? wins the wins the Royal Rumble and AJ's already champion. People are fucking stoked for that. And have him throw Roman Reigns over the top just to add insult to injury at the end. <laughs> yeah, be awesome. People will pop like crazy for that shit. Um, yeah, yep. Myself included. Do that. Do it yep. that way. Yeah. yeah Plus, give, it, it gives Bobby Roode a total run in between as well. Yeah. That's cool. I like that. I like that booking. That won't happen. So... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably not. <laughs> yeah, it's in Nakamura. No. Because, because uh, we've said it and it sounds awesome, it won't happen. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to go with Jinder as well because that sounds really, really good and I would love to see that. And yeah, Jinder. So the uh, the main event uh, as predicted uh, is Kevin Owens versus Sarah Brown in the Hell in a Cell match. Not only a Hell in a Cell match, according to WWE. dot com, it's a Hell in a Cell falls count anywhere match. Sure, I don't know how that works. I guess they're they're going outside. Yeah, the cell, seriously. Of course, yeah. There'll be some big spot on the, on the outside. So um, pop up power bomb off the cell <laughs> oh, through the Christ. table. Literally, Kevin him. Owens. Jesus, <laughs> uh, Kevin Owens going to win. Um, yeah, I think he oh, definitely yeah, is. Definitely. Yeah, I think he definitely is. There's no way to change the witness. Um, and this is an interesting, uh, rumor slash, uh, speculation that Sammy, Sammy Zayn might turn heel and help Kevin Edge win in some way. Good. Know I'll, you know, I'll take it. <laughs> I'll, I will take that. No, it'd be really awesome. Oh, yeah. Um, I'd be so happy with that. Yeah, same. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to get Kevin as well. Cause, yeah, obviously. Shane doesn't um, win these matches. Shane's just in it to take a big bump. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. Um, yeah, let me know what to expect from this. We've already seen him fall off the cage, so I don't think he's going to do that again. Um, maybe have him go through the cage instead, or do something else, who knows. Maybe, could go through the cage. But if it's false count anywhere, they've put that stipulation in for a reason, haven't they? Yeah, yeah, it's true. Unless it's to throw us off the scent. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, mm. Either way, I think Kevin Owens wins. I don't see any reason for Shane to win. No, I don't. So, um, I think, you know, and especially if Sammy's going to turn as well. Yeah, that'd be amazing. And um, it's interesting because I saw Daniel Bryan tweet something just oh yeah. the other week about, uh, someone asked him a question, he put, uh, yeah, well, I, I really wanted Sammy Zayn on SmackDown, but that exa- hasn't exactly worked out, has it? Oh, yeah, I saw that as well, yeah. So, uh, I think they maybe mm. could sort of put that into play as well. It's like, I'm, oh, I'm always second thought and it's you know blah 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 blah, and i never do anything good and all that sort of shit um you know that could you know it'd work as you know as far as sort of developing sammy as a heel could could go 
Yeah, that'd be awesome. There's potential but, for awesome stuff on SmackDown going forward. It really is. All the best guys on SmackDown at the minute. Yeah. <laughs> Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn, AJ, Nakamura. Yep. New Day, Usos. Exactly, yep. Chad so, Gable. <laughs> yeah, and you know... Bobby what? Roode. And, you know, in between all this time, you could, you know, you could pair AJ Nakamura together against Sami Zayn and Owens. There's, you know, there's, there's potential. Spooch. There's potential for uh, <laughs> real big stuff going forward. Oh, yeah. That'd be amazing. Absolutely. Um, so, yeah, I'm actually looking forward to, to the future of SmackDown, even though this week's episode was utter shite. Um, <laughs> the pay-per-view is holding up to look, be like a decent show, and the future is bright. Yes. Ow. And once again, don't forget, table. you can join us this Sunday on youtube.com forward slash Daydreamer Gaming. From about Ye- 8 o'clock-ish, I guess. Yeah, sounds about right. For the Hell in a Cell prediction show on WWE 2K17 for the very last time. Yay. But for now, this has been episode 72 of the Games and Graps podcast. We are a weekly video game and wrestling podcast that posts every single Friday across podcast services everywhere. Everywhere. Mostly weekly. Sometimes. Mostly weekly. <laughs> Hopefully weekly going forward, for sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thank you very much for watching. Yes, listening, thank you. rather. Mm. Check us out on YouTube, youtube.com forward slash daydreamer gaming and youtube.com forward slash Sunny Finn Play. Yep, yep. I'm Sunny. I'm Finn. Take care of each other. Be nice to each other. And we'll see you next week. Take care, guys. Goodbye. Thanks so much. Goodbye. Divas.